Hey guys, what's up? So today we're going to take a look at the Justin Classic Roper Boots. Now, I picked these up some time ago, but I really haven't worn them a lot. But I've decided that I'm going to retire this pair, which I've had for some time, and they've um, gotten a good share of use out of them. They're a little dinged up, and the insides are kind of wore out on them, so... I've decided that I'm probably about ready to part ways with these probably after this winter and then that these will replace them. So this is model number 3133. These retail for about $150. I paid a little less than that and you can get them in black and in brown and there might be another color or two available depending on where you buy it. But you've got the front right here. You just have a plain foot, nothing, um, no stitching or anything like that on there. Although I do like this white stitching around it. I think that looks really sweet. And then you have the shaft right here again. It's pretty straightforward. And these are made in Mexico. And I'll get to that in a minute. Then you have your left side, you have a pull strap right here, and then there are leather sold with uh, rubber heel caps. So this is a good pair of boots, like if you've been wanting to try a pair of cowboy boots but don't want something that looks like too cowboyish or something like where you don't really want to wear something that has heels on it that you want more of a flatter heel then this will work for you. I mean, you can wear these with a pair of jeans, you can wear them with a pair of khakis, or even a pair of dress pants if you wanted to, and either way it'll work. Now, getting back to this where I showed you that it's made in Mexico. Now, there's two different kinds of these boots. There's the uh, Justin Ropers like these, as I say, that cost about $150 US money. And then there's a much cheaper version that retails for around $69.99. I would strongly advise you to avoid those. Those are called the Justin Basics and how you can tell the difference is the Justin Basics have a little tag right here and another difference is, is these have leather shafts those have man-made shafts and you can kind of tell by the inside that they're made of plastic. And they don't, uh, the Basics don't have leather soles, they have these thin, um, really stiff rubber soles on them. And I've tried a pair on before, and man, they were not comfortable at all. But with cowboy boots, you get what you pay for. I truly believe that. If you buy something for a hundred, under $100, that's exactly what you're going to get. You're going to get something cheap. I found with, uh, with cowboy boots, you have to at least spend between... Uh, about $130 to $150 to get something that's decent. Because if you go cheap again, you're going to get something that's just a piece of junk. And, you know, that's not good either. Because the price is attractive, but at the end of the day, you're just going to end up replacing them after so long. And you're going to end up really spending more time and more hassle than you needed to if you would have spent the money to buy something uh, a little bit better. Now these ones right here, these are the Deer Light boots and these are a slightly different model, but if you really look at it, essentially it's the same boot. But these boots have been through a lot. I've worn these to my job quite a bit and as you can see, there's some staining, um, dings and scuffs galore. The sole's got some pretty good wear on it, although the rubber heel caps have held up extremely well, which is just crazy because that's usually always the first thing to go, I find. And then, yeah, same kind of same kind of deal here. And as you can see from wearing them over time, they've gotten discolored. The insides are discolored. That probably has somewhat to do with wearing black socks, but I think it also just has to do with a uh, heavy amount of wear, wearing them for eight or nine hours a day, typically, stuff like that. And at my work, 
Um, you're not going to want to wear something too fancy because working in, a, in a, like a factory warehouse environment, uh, your shoes or your boots or whatever are going to get pretty scuffed up. And as you can see, the sole is starting to separate a little bit. It's not completely gone, but I think it's more it's more prevalent on these. But um, I got these um, I got these about two years ago at a um, consignment store, and I was pretty surprised to get them because usually stuff like that is usually never in my size. And I wore a ten and a half D, so that's a pretty common size. But they were barely worn when I got them, and I got them for, I want to say like around $60 or so or something like that. So after almost two years of decent use, I, I think I've gotten my money out of them basically. So yeah, so yeah, pretty solid boots and um, I definitely recommend them. So that's going to do it for me guys. Um, thanks for watching. If you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button. And as always, have a great rest of your day.